Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. Woohoo. Okay, um, first things first, I'm the realist. That's a Iggy Azalea lyric, for those of you who don't know. Um, I want to show you guys some stuff I got at the at Santi Alley. Um, I did a little bit of shopping at Santi Alley because I was looking for some gold jewelry and I heard that Santi Alley has the bops. And yes, they did, girl. Let me show you, okay? Let me make this cute. Cute, right? Okay. I'm so late to my acting class, but like, why do I need to show you my haul first? I don't know. This is a disease. Okay, so I got basically a million rings, okay? And the fact you can see my laundry in the background. We must change the frame. My laundry is hanging, guys, because I don't have a laundry machine in my apartment. Okay, wait. We're moving back. Okay, no, we're gonna sit here. Okay. Oh my God, you can still see my laundry. This is so traumatizing. The way that someone came to fix my heater today and he asked me, there's a bunch of like bare asses on my wall, okay? Don't sue me. And he comes in and he goes, I just have to ask, is that you? I'm like, that? No, sir. I don't keep my bare ass on my wall. And he was like, I just had to ask. Cause like, if you don't ask, you never know. I was like, I'm gonna pepper spray you. Back up. Um, it was horrifying, but here I am. He left something in the corner and I'm wondering if it's a camera. I'm really paranoid right now. Anyway, okay. So here's the first thing I got. It's a little butterfly. I got a lot of butterflies because they had tons. And like, yeah, it's probably not the best quality, but it was all a dollar. Every ring I'm showing you was a dollar, okay? And I want to stack them. So this one, cute. These, I got like two. This one came in threes. So it was three of these for a dollar. More of the little butterfly ones. Cartier dupe. Not a good dupe, but a dupe nonetheless. Um, let's see. I got another butterfly one. Hello. And then an another butterfly one. A pink one. And I'm in my butterfly era, you guys. Um, th these are just more random ones. Whatever, it's not focusing, but you get it. There's a lot of rings here, okay? And then I went to this store, La Corazon. You probably heard about it on TikTok. Um, but there was a line for it, but honestly it was so worth it. This came in a set with these earrings and it was like $6, but look at this. It's so cute. It's a butterfly, but it has like a little, the Virgin Mary or something in it. It's so cute. I'm like, don't come for me Catholics or come for me. I don't know. What side are we on? Anyway. And then the earrings match. They have the same little pendant, but like a mini size one. And it's so cute. Ah, oh, I love it so much. So that's what I got from Santee Alley. Um, I would highly recommend you guys go. It's honestly so good and so worth it. And I'm gonna go back and get more stuff. So who wants to come with me? Comment down below. Anyway, I have to go and I'm pretty sure I filmed this entire thing slanted. So that's cute. I'm so late, I must go. Love you guys. Mwah. Hi guys. Ooh, there's someone yelling outside my window. I am anticipating an altercation. Um, how are you guys doing? It's a few days later than I last filmed. A lot has happened, girl. Let me tell you. As I unpack my water bottles, please don't judge me. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. <gasps> Flower check. Look how pretty they are though. I love a lily moment. Don't you love a lily moment when they open? Oh, so cute. Anyway, so a lot has occurred. Um, when I last talked to you, me with a knife, when I last talked to you, I was getting ready for one of the most hectic weeks of my life. Um, because right now for this month, I'm in like double the acting class I'm normally in. So I was basically rehearsing every day and had to perform twice a week, um, which was fun. I definitely have learned a lot this month, which has been great, but I was balancing that, working and filming and editing stuff. And I also started with a new um, voice studio. That's That was really cool. Um, you would probably know the guy if you 
are like nerdy about voice stuff and singing stuff because he has like a channel on YouTube where he like talks about he basically reviews people's live performances. He's really talented. Um, so I had an intake session with him, which was really fun. He was so nice. Um, and on top of that, I have my regular voice teacher that I go to, who I'm actually going to see today. I have to leave in like 30 minutes. Um, and I had also scheduled for this month a shoot because I found this videographer on Instagram who I just think is so talented. I love his work and it's rare for you to find someone that understands the aesthetic you're going for, specifically um, vertical videos because that's ba essentially what entertainment is moving towards is like these vertical videos and not a lot of videographers have like caught up to that yet or are like editing in that way um, and so I found this videographer who I really love and I messaged him on Instagram and he responded and um, I was like we should make something together and he's in Atlanta so my dad works in Atlanta and was there at the time so I flew out and we were able to shoot something and it was so so much fun I really had the best time like and I've worked with so many photographers in the past that were older more experienced and everything and still like they didn't understand what I was going for or are kind of less in touch with what's current and that's what I love about his work and so um we went we did the shoot it was so fun I also because the whole point of it was to get like a little short or real or whatever um but I might also use it to like preview a song that I might put out just like a cute little it's a simple bop you've probably heard it if you're on my Instagram because I made like a video to it when I was making it like I made a write a song with me video to it which if you don't follow me on Instagram follow me because I post a lot about writing music yeah so I might use one of these clips to kind of preview that song and maybe put it out on SoundCloud or something. I don't know. I'm feeling crazy. I'm feeling wild. I would release it on like Spotify and stuff. I just have to buy the the rights to the track because it's a, from a producer. I don't know. Uh, who is also so talented and won't respond to my DMs. So Rem Dalla, if you're watching this, <laughs> please give me a chance. Um, I should probably email him. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to email him the song. So we did the video shoot. It was so much fun. I was only there for like a day, so I basically didn't sleep for two days. And finally came home, um, met up with my friend Miles, who is an amazing musician, an amazing producer, and master, sound engineer. He's just like so talented. He's literally gonna be the next Prince, mark my words. And um, he mastered that song I was talking about for me. And it's sounding so cool and fun. It's just like a song for the girls, you know? And I would love to do like a video for it with choreography. All my dancers, stand up. All my dancers, comment down below if you want to be my video. Because I would love to like choreograph for it and have like a video for it. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. But this was like the first step of that process, I guess. Um, cause it just sounds so fun. Like I would love to do that. So now the song's mastered. Um, and the little clip is done. And depending on how the clip turns out, um, I might start planning for like a full video, um, with some of my friends cause some of my friends are dancers. So that would just be so fun. And now since I'm at this age where I've been doing music and like all this stuff for so long now I'm only interested in doing stuff that sounds fun like I have no more ego I have no more like embarrassment of anything like nothing is serious everything is a joke everything is just for fun and so this just seems like something that would be so fun to do like imagine iconic costumes okay choreography amazing video 
Uh, give us Shakira. Like, give us Shakira, someone, please. Can it be me? I don't know, but it might be. I'm just trying to serve Shakira. I've been trying to serve that since I was born. And this might be my time. But anyway, yeah, so that's just a quick update on what's been going on. It is currently 9.23. I have to leave for my voice class in like 40 minutes. And then after voice, I'm coming home really quick, doing some work, and then going straight to my acting class at two, from two to five. Then I'm gonna work out at 5.30. And then I'm gonna go back to my acting studio because there's like a master class that it's like a very famous teacher. She's coached a lot of like famous actors on like Emmy award winning performances, Oscar winning performances. She coached Halle Berry for um, the film she won an Oscar for. So she's just very renowned and she does a master class at my at this new studio I'm going to on Tuesday nights and Wednesday nights. So. Tonight's Wednesday, so I'm gonna do my class, come home, probably get like my dinner really quick, and then go back at seven, cause her class is from seven to nine, or no wait, seven to 10, I think, but I'm not gonna stay till 10, because we all know I'm a grandma. But anyway, so that's gonna be my day. Pretty busy, but all very fun things. And yesterday I had a really great restful day. Oh my gosh, I've been so into my shows lately, which I haven't been able to be. For this whole month so now I'm finally like taking time to rest and watch a show and I watch Palm Royale oh my god I love Kristen Wiig if you guys haven't watched that show yet please watch it it is so good it's hilarious it's dramatic Kristen Wiig is the most entertaining actress like I cannot with her she is my dream person to work with and when I work with Kristen Wiig just know that although my outside demeanor may be calm Inside, I'm literally crying because she is Annie from Bridesmaids and that is not okay for me to be in the same room with because she's a star. Anyway, I watched that. I'm also watching Griselda, which is very good as well. And yeah, I'm gonna make myself a little breakfast. This week, I'm really slowing down just because this past month has been very crazy. So I'm just taking time to like make space for unexpected things for magic to happen you know because i think when you plan your schedule so back to back like how mine has been um you don't always leave room for unexpected fun things you know plus on top of all of that i was going to dance also like one to three times a week so it was just a lot but yeah i'm making more space for my friends for chill time, relaxing time, magical time, time for new ideas, time for new inspiration, just time to rest, which has been really great. So I'm gonna make myself a little breakfast and um, probably watch Griselda. Oh wait, no, a new episode of Palm Royale came out today. I'm gonna watch that. And yeah, I love you guys. Um, I'll talk to you later on. Mwah. Really quick, I just have to do a quick matcha check. Matcha check. Um, I'm off caffeine lately because I got sick, as you guys saw in my last vlog. And whenever I get sick, I know that I've been having too much caffeine. So I've been off caffeine for a little while, but a little matcha never hurt anyone. I haven't even been making matcha at my house, which you guys know, I used to be literally making two matchas a day, two to three matchas a day, not kidding. And like a coffee and a matcha a day. This is like 4 out of 10. It's from Clark Street, which is this really adorable bakery, um, which may or may not be by my house, which I will never disclose because you will never find out where I live. Love you. Mm. Yum. It tastes like water because they used an off-brand oat milk, but it's fine. Watch it, check. Okay, bye. For real now. Hey, guys. It's the nighttime. Um, why did I say that like that? It's the nighttime. Kind of ominous. Had an ominous ring to it. Um, it's like 7.30. I was going to go to that master class that I told you about earlier, but they're not having it tonight. So I went to my voice lesson, my acting class, worked a lot on the computer, and now I'm going to have dinner. And we're going to watch Palm Royale because there's a new episode tonight. You guys have no idea what this show means to me. Oh. If words could express the love I have for Kristen Wiig. Oh. 
Dinner haul. Here's my dinner haul. I'm gonna be having this spicy lentil wrap from Trader Joe's. This is crack. Um, try it, see if you like it. And also it comes with like a tub, tub of sauce, but I finished all of it in like one half of the wrap. So then I use Caesar dressing for the rest of it. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna eat my wrap and probably go to sleep really soon because I'm a grandma. This is my friend's shirt who makes music. There's his little QR code for his mixtape if you guys wanna watch it and watch it. If you guys wanna listen to it, scan this little thing. He did this graphic, it's actually sick. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow where I will be doing a lot of fun stuff. I'm gonna be working in the morning, obviously, but then I'm gonna see my friend. We're gonna go to Soul Cycle together and probably walk around Melrose, get into some trouble. You know us. Love you. Good night. It is another day. I think it's two days since I filmed last. Uh, flower tag. I am having sort of a chiller day today. I'm doing some work on my computer and my one of my really good friends, Dylan, is gonna come over today and we're gonna watch um, an episode of this show. One of our, one of the people in our acting class booked uh, the show, which is so exciting. So we're gonna watch her episode that she was in and they shot like in Budapest for a week and it's just so cool. So I'm just so excited to watch it. Um, don't judge my plastic water bottle. I just posted um, a few videos from this little shoot I did in Atlanta. I think I had talked about it in the vlog, but um, I just posted them. I worked with this videographer named Caleb Smith, who's so amazing. He's worked with a lot of artists that I really like. Yeah, he was so amazing. It was such a fun experience. Um, we met on Instagram and we're like, let's just make something together. And so we just made this little fun video, um, to this artist, Anisia Song, who he's actually friends with, but I live for Anisia, you know me. I love Big Nudie Down. But anyway, so yeah, I just posted those videos. If you want to go watch them, check them out. My Instagram, Chloe Hakola. If you're not following me, what are you doing, girl? Like he made a piece. For me to post and then I made my own based on my dad's footage because my dad was there as my security slash assistant slash production assistant um my dad was like filming and I told my dad specifically do not do one of he has his phone and he'll go like I'm like dad just hold just hold it still like please I gave him a whole pep talk before we started filming and luckily he did pretty good so I got some cool like behind the scenes footage I did a little edit with that um and yeah so it's out I'm so excited it was so fun I loved it I love how it turned out I'm really excited to work with him for like future music videos. Um, I'm gonna start working on new music again. I finished a whole like set of demos last year that I really liked at the time. And um, now I'm excited to expand on that and start my writing process again. But with things that I've produced, I wanna start producing my own stuff because the demos that I have I like, but like if I wanna publish them, I don't own them and I have to go buy each one and that can be like really expensive and I just want to learn the process of producing for myself because I am controlling and I think I would really find a lot of joy in having creative control over every aspect of the music um, and just being able to create stuff that's exactly what's in my head. So I'm gonna purchase Logic. I've been using Ableton Lite for so long to record and I was using a free trial of Logic, but I'm gonna get the real one because my friend Miles was mixing one of my songs and he just said that the version of Ableton I have is so bad because it's like the free version. So I'm just gonna bite the bullet. I'm just gonna buy Logic and start recording more than eight layers because on Ableton you can only record eight layers. So I'm gonna have free range to record my friend Miles taught me so much stuff when he was mastering my song about like 
layering and how to organize your layering when you're recording vocals. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited. So yeah, stay tuned for some new music and then once I have a few tracks that I really love, I really want to start making videos, like music videos. Oh, like that is pretty much all I want in life is music videos with like choreography. This videographer who I love like would do such a good job. A lot of my friends dance, so like having them dance in it with me, like I just have so many amazing ideas that make me so excited and sound so fun. And I found the longer I'm doing this that whenever there's something that sparks joy and makes you feel excited and fun, that's the direction you should head in, you know? Not always the serious, like taking everything serious. I don't want to do that anymore. I just want to have fun with my music and with what I make and have lower stakes and more control and also more freedom and yeah, I'm really excited. So. Stay tuned for that. I'm gonna cut up this fruit, eat, and uh, work more before my friend gets here, but I wanted to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you. I'm about to start a new vlog right after this, so another vlog is coming your way very soon. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Oh my gosh, okay, and if you go to my Instagram and watch the videos I was talking about, comment with a pink heart and a matcha a matcha emoji you know the green tea one a pink heart and a matcha emoji and i'll know you came from this and i'll know you're a real one okay <laughs> but anyways i love you guys so much i'm so thankful for you thank you for watching and supporting and i love you and i will see you soon Mwah. bye Where did all the blue skies go?